Hey guys, how are you? How are you? I just wanted to share something with you. I know uh, as it relates to hair. You know, even ladies, they may have issues dealing with hair. They may have confidence issues because of alopecia or because of their hair not growing. And I just want to share with you, men may have the same issue. You know, uh, this particular barber, he actually does an awesome job for men. I'm sure you could probably do for women as well. They come to his place of business and they get their hair done. And these men uh, may not have hair, but actually after he finished working with them, honey, it really, really, he, he does an excellent job. He does an excellent job. And I want to show you this video um, about the hair. When he cuts it, the way he lays it down, uh, he actually puts some extensions in it, or hair pieces as you want to call it. He called it a unit. But he put uh, pieces of hair in there and then he styled it according, accordingly. But guys, look, if you have any issues, uh, you can do this too, you know. Everybody don't have that long, luxurious hair, luxurious hair and and thick hair, uh, they have to actually go and purchase that. And it's okay. If It's okay if you decide you want to buy hair. You can buy hair, you can buy wigs, and you can do that. And it's okay. Don't be ashamed, okay, guys? If you want to beautify yourself by buying extensions and wigs and weaves, go ahead and do it. I commend that. So let, let's get into the video, guys, and let's see uh, the magic he works. I'm going to start by cleaning his scalp, guys. So I'm going to grab my bay room, same thing I used after a haircut. I'm going to clean the scalp with it. Next step, I want to start by spraying two to three coats of no sweat. And I like using this product because it actually helps prevent his scalp from sweating so much. And that's going to preserve the lifespan of my unit. Next up, I want to give me a black eyeliner, guys. And I want to try to put this line on as natural looking as possible. So I want to try to imagine what his natural line will be at and try to apply that line there. As y'all see, I kind of went up on my boy on the right hand side. I'm glad they went with the clippers, huh? But I'm gonna get it fixed though, man. Y'all don't worry about it. Um, all my barbers out there, I know y'all looking at that fade too. Y'all probably clowning me. But what I like to do is like put half the fade on. I like to leave the top a little thicker so when I actually apply the unit, I can cut it down all at once and that'll give it that natural look as well. So uh, I like to start off having it like one and a half or two. That's a good, good length for um, applying these units. Okay, guys, after I get my line on, the next step is going to be applying the glue. And the way you apply the glue is very important. You don't want to put on too much glue. So if you're a beginner and you're just not starting these units, I suggest you to apply the glue the way I'm doing it in the video here. And what I like to do is apply dots all over the scalp. And that's going to help me get a nice even coat to where I'm not overusing the glue. It's not heavy in some areas and light in others. And it also is going to help with drying. It's going to dry even as well. And when you're doing these units, you can use two to three coats of glue. I only use two because the hair actually sticks very well. Well, let me share with you guys. In the past, I bought this glue before. It works pretty good, and it's not cheap. You know, I don't know what it what it costs now, but when it came out, when it originally came out, originally came out, I forgot the name of it, but um, you can zoom in to see what it is. When it originally came out, it was kind of expensive, so I don't know how much it costs now. But, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what it would cost to get your hair done like this. But if you want, you know, your hair done right and you want it to look a certain way, professionally done, hey, you know, maybe it's worth the cost. Maybe it's worth the cost. I wear wigs myself. Uh, at some point, my edges were thinning. So the fact that I gave my hair a little rest by wearing these wigs and not pulling and tugging on my edges is starting to thick it up. But, you know, hey. Let's continue to watch to see what it looks like. With the glue. Next up, if you guys have a spatula or an applicating brush, that'll work perfect in this situation. Um, what I like to do is focus on the edge a lot, guys, because the edge is very, very important. Um, of course, I want to get everything else rubbed in. I want to make sure that I spread everything out evenly. And that help, these dots are helping a lot, guys. Um, it's not heavy in some areas. It's not light in others. I'm going to get a nice, even coat because I want it to dry even. And this glue, when it dries, it dries clear. Now, that edge I was telling you guys about, this glue is very easy to work with. So if you get something past the line, you can just wipe it off. Um, when applying the glue and you're working on that edge, make sure you get the bottom of the line. The bottom of the line is very, very important. And then the line I'm talking about is that line that we drew with our black eyeliner. 
that's very, very important. You want to make sure you focus on the bottom of the line, not the top. Um, make sure you don't have none past that line. Make sure you wipe it off with your finger or some guys, because once this glue dries and that hair is on it, you cannot cut through that, that glue at all. So um, the line is very important. Now I'm doing my second coat. I want to slow it down right here, though, guys. This is very, very important. On my second coat, which is my last coat, I'm going to put a little glue onto his hair as I apply the second coat. And that's going to help with that natural look I was telling you guys about in the beginning. And I'm going to show you how. Now that we've applied our last coat of glue and we've set and let it dry to where it's clear, we're ready to get started. Next up is applying the tracks, guys. You can use any kind of crochet braiding hair to do these man units. Um, the most yeah, guys, he said crochet braiding hair. So you can see the artwork that's being performed here. Um, he actually lined it up so he can put a parameter as to how far he wants the glue to go. Then he, as he mentioned, he put the dots around the scalp up there and he took a brush and meticulously uh, brushed it on and, and get it to where he wanted full coverage. So when he started laying these crochet uh, uh, hair onto his scalp, it can uh, lay the way he wants, and he can finish his job. But, guys, yes. Yeah, don't ever think that you cannot be beautiful. You, you're beautiful the way you are, and if you want to beautify yourself by adding hair, it is okay. A lot of us don't have that thick hair. You know, sometimes our hair is thin. Sometimes we don't have hair. Hey, you can buy a wig. You can do a toupee. Uh, you can have add-ons like, you know, extensions, or you can do what um, you're doing here. This gentleman's name is, let me see, The Fit Barber. Okay, you guys, yes, that's his name. And um, uh, if you guys locate him, I'm sure he probably can do a good job on you if you're interested. Uh, but guys, go to my page, Patricia E. Jackson, also known as Patricia E. TV. Uh, subscribe, uh, click the notification bell, and uh, let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. Okay, guys? important thing is making sure you match the color as closest to the client as possible. What I'm using in this video is 1B. And it matches most clients with dark hair. How you lay the tracks is very important as well. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, my first track, I'm going to lay it right on top of that glue I told you guys to put on his hair when you was applying your last coat. Um, my second track, I'm going to lay it directly down the middle. And my second track is basically a guideline for by the time I start working my way inside the middle, of the scalp with the tracks is going to straighten out my waves to where it look more natural. They're not going out to the left or they're not going out to the right. By the time I meet up in the middle, I, all my waves should be meeting up and going straight just like that middle track. And that's why I use it as a guideline. So what I like to do is lay my three tracks first and then I'll work all the way towards the middle. Now, if they're still sticking up and you got some parts that sticking up, it's kind of hard to press down with your finger because you might touch the glue and the glue is real, real sticky at this point. So I like to use the back of my spatula or rat tail comb to press that, that track down. Hey guys, now that I created my guideline with my three tracks, I'm ready to get started with um, laying the rest of my tracks. And um, this next track, this track is very important, guys. You want to make sure that you lay the track right next to the first one, side by side, and you want it to fit in the grooves just like a puzzle piece sometimes it may not fit and you have to stretch the hair just a little bit just stretch it out and then press it down but you want it to be laying so close to where they're almost on top of each other you don't want no spaces in between these tracks guys that's going to give it that real real natural look and then when you cut it down it's going to give it that real real wavy effect so you want to make sure when you lay these tracks you land them side by side to where they're almost on top of each other and they're matching up just like puzzle pieces. Now I'm gonna lay the rest of these tracks, guys. As you can see, I'm leaving a little slack towards the back hanging off and I'm leaving a lot towards the front hanging off. And that's gonna help with the blend. Okay, guys, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit because as you can see, he's laying these tracks on top of this scalp where he has the glue, it's dry, and uh, he laying it side by side. So let's speed it up a little bit and see what happens once he lay it down and, and uh, what he's, what he's going to start doing to it. For more content, guys, I'm going to finish these small areas of hair 
and we're gonna get started on cutting the unit down and making it look real, real natural. Guys, I got about two more tracks here. This last piece I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna show you guys about that overlaying towards the back. You don't have to have a perfect size piece to go on this small area. You don't have to cut it to fit, just lay it, stick it on there, and um, keep moving. It's gonna eventually, you're gonna have to cut all the excess off. Anyway, um, my next step I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab some scissors, and I'm gonna just take off that front layer, um, overlay of hair, and I'm gonna keep that. Please guys, do not throw this away. Grab it, put store it in another area, because it's another technique that I use that I'm gonna show you guys in another video called hairline repair. And you can make a lot of money off those small pieces. Okay, guys, my next step is to get the extra pieces that I have on top of the unit. Get those gone. So first I want to grab me a dry towel and I want to press down in three areas of this um, unit so I can make sure all my tracks are stuck to the glue. Second, I want to grab my magic clips and I just want to cut all those extra pieces off. And what I'm doing now is just setting myself up with a smooth area so that I can start detailing my unit. Okay guys, what I wanna do after I get those extra pieces off, I just wanna create me a real smooth surface, as smooth as possible, so that I can begin detailing my unit. Um, but before I do that, I still have some pieces hanging over the front, so I'm gonna grab my clippers and I wanna go down at an angle, not straight down, but more like at just, just an angle, um, so that I can get those extra pieces off without actually going down too much onto that edge up. Okay, guys, this process um, of cutting the unit down is going to be a lot of hair in your client's face. Make sure you don't let that sit. It can be real uncomfortable for a client. So make sure every now and then you don't get too lost in doing the unit and you grab your duster and get their face cleaned off, guys. Okay, guys, after I get his face brushed off and I done knocked that, that edge, that extra hair off the edge, I'm going to focus on cutting the unit down to a nice length before I start detailing it. Um, if you took my class before, or you heard about me teaching these classes, I got a saying called the sweet spot. I found the sweet spot when I was first learning the units and I started working on my mannequin. And the sweet spot is just um, getting the unit to look more natural and it don't look have that noodle look. Um, like I'm saying, most guys' units, um, I wanna eliminate that noodle look as much as possible. And when you get past that noodle look and you actually get that wave look going, that natural wave look going, it's going to make the unit look so much real, so much more real, guys. What I like to do is focus on the back first and then both my sides, then the middle. So when I work in the back, I am just want to cut down to that sweet spot that I'm mentioning just to get it to blend perfectly in with his hair, guys. So continue to go down, guys, on the wave unit until you get that sweet spot that matches and that blend is perfect guys look at that blend look how it's going directly into his hair man perfectly and i'm getting it down to that same length um so that it can look real real natural um after i finish the back and i get it to blend and i and i'm seeing that it's matching up with his hair his hair real good i'm going to start with my sides because that's very important to getting that blend and getting that you guys, I can see it coming together already. The boy is cold. He's pretty good. You know, guys, you guys can go to his page, subscribe to his page. Uh, I'm just giving out, you know, credit where credit's due. This, this my page is is is, is encouragement, uh, beneficial, and and, and uh, just trying to let you guys know it's a lot of positive, good things that are going on out here on this YouTube in this YouTube world, and uh, for for us sometimes to take note. And in this instance, as far as dealing with this barber. He's doing an awesome job. He's 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 giving people back what they probably didn't have or they they want and making them. Uh, I'm sure he's building their confidence by adding this hair, uh, uh, these extensions to their hair and these um, uh, little pieces to their hair and uh, giving them hope. You know what I'm saying? And they look and this gentleman is starting. He, he looks nice. He even looks better uh, when uh, as the guy is, is is continuing to cut his hair. But yeah. Guys, if you have issues with a balding, or I don't want to say bald alopecia, or thinning hair, or no hair, hey, you can do this too, guys, if, if you want hair. Or you can just cut your hair off and just go bald, but the choice is yours, guys. There's many options out there, okay? Oh, right on top of that synthetic hair that I laid, on top of that glue, guys. Remember I told you guys earlier in the video? Um, I'm going to just go right on top of it. I want to go in and out of those grooves with that corner until I get that perfect blend. 
And um, I want to do that on both sides until I get that real, real natural look. I'm going to go ahead and finish this side and cut it down so I can show you guys the difference from how um, the sweet spot looks compared to the, the real, real noodle effect. I want you guys to have a visual of that instead of me just speaking on it so that you have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. And I'll show you how low I went from one side to the other. Okay guys, as you can see now, I got one side down to the sweet spot that I was mentioning and I put a slight edge on it as well. Um, what I want to do now on this other side, I want to show you guys, I just want to focus on getting and eliminating that noodle effect. When you eliminate the noodle effect, you're going to have a real, real natural looking unit, guys. And it's going to make it, it's going to make your clients come back every time, guys. Um, the more it's undetectable, the more they love the unit and um, the better they feel about it actually getting the unit more and more so you want to make sure that you take your time guys and detail your unit to your perfection um these clients are very very sensitive man some clients haven't had hair on their heads in 10 11 years i had a lot of clients i mean crying getting out the chair because they haven't had hair on their head in so long so um i love doing units man and i know you guys are going to love doing them if you're already doing the units man Congrats, salutes guys, because I know you guys are making guys feel way better, man, way better about their, um, their confidence on their everyday life, man, just by applying a unit. Um, what I want to do now is I want to focus on this side here so I can make sure it blends just like the other side. As you can see, I have a noodle effect here. On this other side, it's blended in perfectly. And I didn't do anything special, guys. All I did was take the corner of my magic clips and I went down gradually detailing that one track that I told you guys to lay earlier on top of his hair. I want to take my time and get that track cut all the way down. You guys going to support the brother. I'm telling you, he's working his magic. I am impressed. Um, as I mentioned before, you don't have to. There's a lot of people not alone in situations like this. Okay, guys? You don't have to go at it alone. You can get help, and it's okay. It is okay that you're thin. Your hair is thin. You may not feel that it's okay, but what I mean by that, uh, there's something you can do about it. If you want, if you want hair, you can get hair. You know, there's not. Don't let people discourage you and try to make you feel bad. Oh, you're wearing a wig. You're wearing a toupee. So what? So what? I pay for it. Don't I look handsome? Don't I look beautiful? You can do it too, darling. So I get to a comfortable sweet spot and it blends perfectly. Now, the more you go down on those tracks slightly, it's going to blend on its own, guys. You just want to take your time and gradually go down with the corner of your, your clippers and make sure you knock that track all the way down until it matches what his hair looks like on the side. And it's going to, it's going to blend in by itself. And you're going to see the effect of me just gradually going down. Look at that blend, how it's already coming in, guys. And all I've been doing was gradually knocking it down and going in and out of each wave, guys, trying to eliminate that noodle look as much as possible. Hey, guys, as I continue to go down gradually on those tracks, you see I'm starting to get a perfect blend from that synthetic hair to his hair, and that's the whole reason of the video, guys. I really want you to get that natural look on your units it's going to be very, very important to get it to look real, real natural. Nice. So I'm going to take my time to continue to knock down that synthetic hair until it matches and blends in perfectly with his hair. Now, you're not going to always get a perfect blend, guys, with everyone's hair. He just happened to have some of the 
perfect hair for this synthetic hair that I, that I applied. Now, after I finish this edge and finish getting everything knocked down, what I want to do is stand back from the unit and I want to look at it head on. I want to see if I left any um, noodle looking effect in the wave unit. If so, I want to go in and take my time and detail that noodle effect out so that I can have a real, real natural looking unit, guys. Okay, guys, once you step back from the unit, you're going to notice that you may have some areas that still give you that noodle effect. Are you leave, believe in truth explosive hydrating holiday set? Look at this. All of this for what? How much is this? Step back from the unit. You're going to notice that you may have some areas that still give you that noodle effect like I have here in the video. And what I like to do is go inside the grooves of those waves and eliminate that noodle effect as much as possible. Eliminating that effect, guys, is the key to getting you a natural looking unit. Okay, guys. Towards the end of the unit, what I like to do is focus on the small things, man. When I teach my class, I tell my students all the time, focus on the small things. So I'm going to use some spritz. I want to go around his edge with it. And I want to go around where the synthetic hair blended in with his hair all around his head. Because I want to spray some fibers to give it even more of a natural look. And I want those fibers to stick and stay for a while. After I get my fibers on, guys, I'm going to do like I do with any other haircut. I'm just going to grab my edges. I'm going to give them a crispy edge up. So that it can look real, real natural. And I'm like I said, I'm going to always focus on the small things, man. I'm going to make sure I take my time and give my clients more in value than they give me in dollar. That's how you create clientele from just regular clients. Um, after we edge them up, get them looking all crispy, man. He asked for a part, so I'm going to do a part on the sides because I already laid the tracks. Anytime you want to do a part inside of the man unit you have to have that already laid before you actually lay the tracks and I'm gonna show you how guys how to do that in another video but since he wants a part and he wants it on the side because he had it before we're gonna add him a little part on the side guys just spicing it up a little bit before I get to that part though guys like I said I'm gonna always give my clients more in value than they give me in dollars so I'm gonna take my time and get all these loose hairs off I'm gonna do all the little small details that matters man they matter so much um and it, and it gives your client more confidence man it gives them more confidence and um and you as a barber as well so take your time with your clients man give them more in value than they give you in dollar and that's how you become one of the best barbers ever guys that's right, take your time that's right okay right now i'm going to add the part in and i'm just going to do a simple straight part i'm going to do it right along the lines of that unit so this part is actually in his hair guys it's not in the unit because you cannot cut inside that unit okay. with that glue and that track on. I promise you, you cannot. And try not to get your clippers in that because it's going to mess your clippers up as well. And it's going to dull your blades, guys. Okay. guys. We're going to finish off with a little wig shine. And we are done. And the look and smile on his face is priceless, guys. And that's what I do these units for. It's more than just about the money with me. It's about giving my clients that confidence and that smile back. Thanks for watching my channel. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe and share.